I never thought in my life I would be welding as much as I have after we got this lift, but it's crazy. I find something every day that I need to be welding up. So once again, this is gonna be a fabrication welding video. So sorry, I know you guys are probably tired of it, but it's the content that we got, so that's what we're gonna do. So as you all know, this car has an on three turbo kit on it and it has a Y pipe with a cutout here. All the exhaust is going out the tailpipes through the mufflers and all that. Well, buddy of mine, Jason, hooked me up with this. Now I think this come off of like a Honda or something like that, but check out what we have, a boost actuated cutout. I've actually had this thing for a pretty good while now and uh, it does work. I don't have quite enough air in my lungs to make it work, but uh, I have hooked it up to the air compressor. It only takes a couple of pounds and it opens right up. I think what we're gonna try to do is take this V-band off right here, this clamp, and we're gonna try to cut this pipe and weld it on up here. Now I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work, but let's go ahead and get this thing off and see. This should work out pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna do is essentially mount this thing as close as possible up here. So we want this to be you know, nice and tight up here. So what we'll probably do is just cut the pipe right here and then take this side of the V-band right here, cut it off and then weld it up. There's a good chance that I botched this. Very good chance that I messed this up, guys. Now, what we're gonna do is remove the Y pipe, bring it over here to the little welding table, clamp it all down and weld it up. That way, we make sure we got a good fit. Also, I did a little bit of cleaning up uh, up under here. We did some undercoating from the last video, went ahead and sprayed everything nice and black. It just, just makes it look good. So, man, this thing's starting to, starting to come together. Polished on the uh, tailpipes a little bit. Well, I don't really polish them, guys. What I do with this is just run Scotch-Brite over them and that gives me a nice satin look. As you can see, we do have our strange adjustable shocks on here. We will be putting the new control arms on here real soon. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get this cutout put on the car because that will free up some power. One of the issues that we've been having, I think, with this car is it's got too much back pressure. These mufflers that are on the car just do not flow enough. This single cutout is probably not gonna be as much as it really needs, but in combination with the tailpipes and this cutout should free up some horsepower. Okay, so as you can see, I've got pretty much everything removed. Guys, I don't have any clamps yet. I've gotta go get some big C clamps. I thought I had some, but I guess not. Well, it's not the prettiest thing, but I think we can work with that for sure. All right, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get this cut off. We'll see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can cut this. I'm sure this is not gonna be a straight line, guys, but it's all right, we'll see what we can do here. Honestly, guys, I would call that a success. It's not a beautiful cut. That's kind of a hard spot to get to. I'm impressed with that. That worked out really good. It had to cut through a lot of welds. So yeah, it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead, clean this flange up, try to weld that flange onto the Y pipe. And guys, we should be done. So there's our cut that we made. That should be fairly easy to clean up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. I'll get back up with you guys once I start welding everything back. I clean this up as much as I could. I think that'll work. That should be fine. After we get done welding that up, hopefully we'll just be able to attach the cutout over here right onto this and then simply run our vacuum line. Now this may turn out like absolute crap and to some of you guys, it's probably somewhat humorous, but it's baby steps, right? And that's what we have to remind ourselves. We can do all of this crap. This guy, 
that you know that's a master welder, you know what? His arms and hands work just like yours. It's a matter of passion. It's a matter of, do you want to get out there and learn it? Do you care enough? That's really what it comes down to. Now, granted, some people are a little more gifted than others, so I'm not taking anything away from you master welders or mechanics or anything like that. But my point is, most of the people that think that they can't do this type of stuff absolutely can. They just got to get out there and do it. All right, enough talk. Let me get over here, finish this up. Guys, this is the best I could do uh, with this, but it looks to be all sealed up. So uh, I started figuring the settings out uh, closer to the end here, of course. That's how it always goes. But um, got everything cleaned up and we're ready to assemble this. So let me go ahead, set you guys up on the tripod, see if we can get this thing hooked up. Okay, so I went ahead, got everything bolted up. I, I like the position of it. I think this is gonna work out pretty good for the most part. I do have to adjust the clamps. They're turned wrong. Don't, don't mind that, guys. But I'm gonna go ahead, take you up under the car and show you what it is that we got. Also, as you'll see, I cleaned up a lot of the piping. So I just got under here and cleaned everything with some scotch Bright and WD-40. That really seemed to work out. But this is the position of everything. And uh, I think this is gonna work out really nice. works guys the car feels really strong actually which it should once we free up the exhaust get this thing back home and uh probably try to get another valve because that thing is very very noisy all right guys let me go ahead and wrap this video up and as always 